Hello and welcome to the classroom. My name is Miss Kathy and this is Sue. Hi Sue. Sue, so today's letter of the day is W and W is for walrus. A walrus is an animal that lives in the ocean where it's really cold in the Arctic waters. We're going to make a paper play walrus today, Sue. We're also going to read a book. It's called There's a Walrus in My Bed. So I hope you'll stick around till the end. But you need to go. You can't stick around, Sue, because we have to do our class job. So goodbye, Sue. We'll see you later. Let's turn around and see how Fred is doing today. Hi, Fred. If you're new to the classroom, this is our pet fish named Fred. And every time you come to class, we have to feed Fred. Well, now that we've fed Fred, let's turn around and do our calendar time. The month is January. Let's reach into our pail and see how we're going to count today. It says cold. I know that walruses live in the cold Arctic waters. It's icy. So why don't we pretend that it's cold as we say each number? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Today is January eleventh. Can you say that? It's January eleventh. If you want to know what day of the week it is, go up to the top. Today starts with T H. T H together makes the sound. The, so what day could it be today? The, the Thursday. Today is Thursday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, it is time to look outside the window and see what your weather is like today. Are you having a sunny day or a rainy day or a snowy day, a windy day, cloudy day? What's your day look like out there? When I do like this, you can shout it out. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Out today. It is. It is. It is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Okay, Weather Bear, I think we're going to put on a long sleeve shirt for you today. And I think we're going to put on a snowsuit for Weather Bear because walruses live where the waters are icy cold. We'll put on a coat and also a hat. Is it cold where you are too? Well, what season is it right now? Winter, the season is winter. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for our letter of the day. Today's letter is W. Do you have a W in your name? If your name has letter W, stand up. If your name has letter W, stand up. If your name has letter W, if your name has letter W, if your name has letter W, stand up. 
Well, W is for walrus, and I decorated my W to look like a walrus. I just took some paper, and I just cut it like this. And I drew on eyes and a nose and some dots for the whiskers. And the W are the two tusks that the walrus has. So this is what letter? What letter is this? W. And now we can recognize W. So next we'll practice writing it. To make a letter W, we're just going to go to the top. We're going to slide to the bottom and then back up to the top. Hey, that looks like letter V. We're going to do it again. Down and up. It looks like two letter Vs. W looks like two Vs put together. Let's practice. Down and up. Down and up. And parents, you can get a copy of this handwriting house paper along with the blank W to decorate at my website. The link is below. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. This is letter W. It's uppercase W, big W. Well, every letter has two. Uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. Lowercase w looks the same as uppercase w. It's just smaller. So let's practice lowercase w next. Down and up and down and up. It's the same. If you are using handwriting paper, then you're going to look for the stairs. And that's the line where the lowercase w belongs. The little letters go downstairs. The big uppercase letters go upstairs and downstairs. So find the stairs. There they are. And this is the line where you need to put the lowercase w. Down and up and down and up. Well, I know you are doing a great job practicing and Hand, doing your handwriting time. So I'm going to give you a sticker for your paper. Well, now we know what W looks like. We know how to write it. So next we'll talk about the sound that W makes. Letter W makes this sound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you try to make that sound? Ooh, ooh, ooh. W makes the sound. Ooh, 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 as in ooh, wake up. Let's play the wake up game. Let's pretend to go to sleep, but when you hear the bell beep, 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 then wake up. It's time for school. Good night, everyone. Ooh, let's go to sleep. <sighs> beep, 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 beep. Wake up. It's time for school. It's time for school. <laughs> w says, ooh, 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 as in wake up. Let's play again. Ooh, good night, everyone. <sighs> Pretend to go to sleep. Beep, 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 beep. Wake up, wake up. It's time for school. It's time for school. W says, ooh, 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 as in ooh, wake up. Well, let's take that letter sound over to the whiteboard and do some blending. Can you help me sing the vowel song? A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. Well, let's put W in front of each of these vowels and let's make those sounds blend together. We might even add another letter at the end and read some real words. I'm just using the hand motions today. W says, ooh, 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 and A says, ah, 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 ooh, ah, ooh, wah, wah. You try. 
Wah! If we put the letter G at the end, we can read a real word. G says, like gulping water. If you're having a little trouble remembering these letter sounds, look down below, there's a link and it has a video that reviews all the letter sounds with the hand motions. All right, back to our reading. Wag, 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 like a dog. A dog wags its tail. Now, W-E. Eh, eh, weh, weh. You try. Weh. Let's put a letter T at the end. T sounds like a ticking clock. T, t, t. Wet, wet, wet. Good job. Wet. Next, W I. E. Like an icky sticky lollipop. Ooh, eh, we, we. Let's put a letter N at the end. I know that N says N as in no. Win. 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 Like you win. All right, let's just blend these last two. Ooh, ah. Wa, wa. Last one. W U. U uh, wa, wa. You did a great job today during our letter time. Now it's time for sight words. We're working on three sight words this week, and take a look. I see W. This word is we. Do you remember what this word is? Find. And what is this word? One. We find one. Let's read our letter W sight word reader. Everything on this page will start with letter W. Ready to read? My W book. We find one. Ooh, ooh. Watermelon. Good. Next, we find one ooh, 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 wagon. Good job. Last page. We find one. Do you know what this is? It's a whale. W and H together actually make a special sound. Wha, wha. Wha, as in what? Wha, wha, whale. Let's read this page again. We find one whale. Well, you did a great job reading that book. Now it's time to move on to math. And for math today, we're going to be adding walruses. Can you see the yellow walruses? How many are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five yellow walruses. How many black walruses can you see? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five black walruses. I want to know how many walruses there are all together. Let's count all the walruses. What is five plus five? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five plus five equals ten. 10 walruses. Right, let's do the next one. How many green walruses can you see? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many gray walruses can you see? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. So I want to know what is seven plus seven. Let's count all the walruses. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Seven plus seven equals fourteen walruses. Let's do the next one. Ooh, look at these walruses. Count the pink ones. One, two, three, four. There are four pink walruses. How many purple walruses are there? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten purple walruses. I want to know what is four plus ten, but I don't have to count the purple walruses again. I know there are ten, so I can just count on. There are ten, so now let's say eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So four plus 10 equals 14. That's called counting on. And you did a great job adding today. Well, it is time for science next. And for science, we're gonna be learning the parts of a walrus. Take a look at this. So this is the picture of a real walrus. Let me talk about some things that we're seeing here. First, I noticed there are two big long teeth on the walrus. These are called tusks tusks. Also, I noticed that the walrus has whiskers, like a cat has whiskers. A walrus also has whiskers. Right here, I see two flippers, two front flippers. One, two. A walrus has two front flippers and also two back flippers. One, two. The flippers help the walrus get around in the water and on the land. I also see that the walrus has this really tough looking skin and underneath that skin is a lot of blubber. That's what helps to insulate or keep the walrus warm in those icy Arctic waters where it lives. Well, we learned about the parts of a walrus today for science and now it's time for art. We are gonna make a paper plate walrus for art. So let's head over to the art table. Okay, so here we are at the art table. We're making a paper plate walrus today. I'm gonna to take a paper plate and color it brown. If you don't have a paper plate, then you could just simply cut out a piece of paper into a circle, cut a circle into using white paper and then color it. Or you could just go ahead and cut a circle from brown paper. This will be the walrus's face. Just coloring it brown. So once you have your walrus's face colored brown, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue two eyes here and here. If you don't have googly eyes, you could just draw your eyes. Next, right in the middle, we're going to make an oval. That will be the walrus's nose. Then we're going to cut out two circles. One circle, and I need one more circle. Okay, before I glue these circles down, I wanna put two popsicle sticks right here. Those are gonna be the two tusks for the walrus. You can use glue or you can use tape. Make sure those tusks stick. And then right on top, 
I'm going to glue these two circles. And then I'm going to put some dots for the whiskers. And there you have it. We made a paper plate walrus today for art. For story time today, we're going to read a book called There's a Walrus in My Bed. There's a Walrus in My Bed by Ciara Flood. Flynn was very excited about sleeping in his new bed, but there was one rather large problem. Mom, Dad, there's a walrus in my bed, said Flynn. You must be dreaming, said Dad, but there really, really is. You know it's naughty to tell fibs, said Mom. Flynn sighed and went back to his bedroom. Flynn was trying to squeeze into the bed when he heard a very loud noise coming from the walrus's tummy. Rumble. Are you hungry? he asked. Humph, said walrus. Flynn wasn't sure what walruses liked to eat. He hoped it wasn't little children. Flynn, it's far too late for snacks, said Mom. But they're not for me. They're for walrus. Flynn told her. Walrus ate all the snacks. He didn't seem hungry anymore, but he wasn't sleepy either. Oh, 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 sneezed Walrus. Do you have a cold? Flynn asked. Oh, sniffed Walrus. Flynn got some extra blankets. Walrus started to get hot and cranky. Oh, dear, said Flynn. You must be really sick. Oh, wheezed Walrus. Walrus isn't feeling well. He needs a glass of milk, said Flynn. Perhaps Walrus shouldn't have eaten all those snacks, Dad muttered. After drinking the milk, Walrus had to use the bathroom. I know you're a little nervous about your new bed, said Mom, but it's way past your bedtime. It's not me who won't go to sleep, grumbled Flynn. It's Walrus. Okay, Walrus, that's enough messing around, said Flynn. I'm going to sing you to sleep. Oh, said Walrus, who still looked wide awake. Is the room too dark? Oh, or too bright? Oh, are you scared of monsters? Oh, or do you have an itch you can't reach? Flynn had a long, hard think. Maybe what you really need is a cuddle. Walrus closed his eyes, gave a long yawn, and finally fell asleep. Flynn snuggled down beside him. But there was still one rather large problem. The bed wasn't big enough for both of them. Flynn tiptoed into Mom and Dad's bedroom. Mom, Dad, he whispered, can Walrus sleep in your bed tonight? If we say yes, will you promise to go to sleep? Asked Mom. Flynn nodded. Yes, they both shouted. Flynn stretched out in his soft, warm bed. Night, Walrus, he said. Humph, said Walrus. And at last, everyone could go to sleep. Well, almost everyone. <laughs> the end. Well, I hope you had some fun today with letter W for walrus. Tomorrow, X is for xylophone, and we'll make a water xylophone in our class. I'll see you then, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. And parents, remember, if you would like to begin at lesson one, you can look under the playlist 2003-2004 school year, and you can find all the lessons leading up to today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.